done filming the tutorial on this look. Um, I decided to do a soft glam. It's kind of a cut crease, but not quite. Um, so yeah, it's pretty easy. I tried to make it as easy as possible, and I also filmed a tutorial on this hair look. So I know I did my own prom makeup and hair, so I decided to film a tutorial to help you guys out. Um, Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and we'll get into this tutorial. Okay, hey everyone. So I'm going to begin with um, priming my eye. I was just showing you that I've already kind of done my eye just to get an idea of what I wanted to do. So I'm going to go ahead and prime it with the Benefit Stay Don't Stray, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my double matte powder and just set that primer. Okay, so now using my Morphe 350, oh, I was going to say 350, <laughs> I'm going to go in with that shade and just put it into my crease. Okay, so now with a little bit deeper of a shade, I'm going to put that into my crease as well, um, just a little bit below where I put the previous shade. Okay, now with a little bit more of a deeper shade, it's kind of a burnt um, bronze shade, I'm going to put that into my crease as well, but I'm going to keep going lower and lower um, after each color I put, so it's going to kind of give this gradient effect. Okay, now I'm going to go in with a little bit more of a dark brown, and again, I'm going to put that in my crease, but very, very tight into my crease um, so I can just smoke it out a little. Okay, now I'm just using this really, really tiny brush. So I'm going to grab an even darker brown, um, probably the darkest color I'm going to use. And I'm going to put that in my crease as well. And that I'm going to just kind of keep in a line, just really small. I'm not going to, you know, smoke it out too much into my crease or blend it out a lot. I'm, I'm just going to buff it to where it's not going to be an intense line. Okay, now grabbing this sparkly gold shade, I'm going to put that all over my lid. As you noticed, I did not touch my lid with any of the um, blending colors that I used. That was kind of how I created somewhat of a cut crease. It's not, you know, a super pre like precise cut crease, but um, that's what I'm going to do now is put this gold shade to kind of make it a little bit more noticeable. And then now I'm going to spray my brush with the, some Fix Plus and then I'm going to dip it into an even brighter um, golder shade. It's not like a deep gold, it's more of like a um, frosty gold. And I'm going to put that on top of the gold that I used to give my little bit a little bit more um, sparkle and brightness. Okay, so now I'm going to use that small brush again with that dark shade, and I'm going to go back into my crease and kind of um, go back over where I put it, uh, just so I can cover up where like the gold like sparkles had gotten up into my crease. Okay, now I'm going to take um, a frosty shade, like a little silver shade, and I'm going to put that into the tear duct of my eye to just brighten up the inner corner. Okay, so now I'm going to take just the matte white shade and I'm going to put that underneath the brow bone just to highlight underneath. Okay, now using my L'Oreal Lacquer Liner in Black is Black, I'm going to go in ahead and give myself a winged out look. I'm going to use the edge of the tape to help give me a more precise wing. Um, I noticed this helps me honestly get the more, you know, cut of a wing. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm just going to take this e.l.f. eyeliner, it's the mineral eyeliner in black, and I'm just going to tight line my eye. 
Um, and then after that, I'm going to go ahead and take these lashes. Um, I got them off eBay. They're like 59 cents or something like that. And I'm going to put that on, but I do it off camera because I suck at that. So. So go ahead and just take like a makeup wipe and wipe off all the fallout from the eyeshadow. Um, get it really good and clean under there. Okay, now with my NYX Honey Do Me Up, I'm going to use this to prime my face. Um, it's kind of like a um, serum as well, so um, it feels really, really good. Just rub it in and when it starts to feel tacky, that's when you know it's ready. Okay, so I'm going to use my Double Wear. I had to get a sample because I'm a little bit darker than my color I actually have, but it's the Double Wear um, in Rattan, I believe. Okay, now with my NYX HD Concealer in, let's see, what is this? Beige. Um, I'm just going to say this concealer is life, like everything. Um, I'm just going to blend that out. I'm not going to put it all over my face to brighten. I'm just going to kind of conceal it. Okay, so then I'm going to use my MAC Pro Long Pro Long Wear Concealer in NW20. Um, and I'm just going to put that to like kind of highlight my face. Um, yeah, Madonna was getting it. So, well, I was getting it, let's be honest. Okay, so going in with my contour kit, I'm going to go ahead and, well, if I can get it open, I'm going to use the banana shade and then the other highlight shade. That's not the, like, highlight highlight, but, like, the matte highlight. <laughs> okay, then I'm going to go in with my Estee Lauder Double Matte Oil Control Pressed, I cannot speak, Pressed Powder in O2 Light Medium, and I'm going to put that everywhere else. Okay, and then going back to my contour kit, and again, cannot open it, <laughs> I'm going to go in with like the ashy toned, and I'm going to contour my face with that. I decided I did not like that brush, so I'm going to get like a small, more angled, pointed brush and get into that contour, girlfriend. Okay, I was going to use like a deep bronze shade in that kit, but I decided I didn't want to. I'm going to use my Milani Baked Bronzer in 05 Soleil. I don't know if I can pronounce that right, but that's what it is. Okay, and back into that contour kit again, and I'm not going to be able to open this at all, but I'm going to use the actual highlight to highlight my cheekbones. I'm going to put a crap ton of this on because you want that look to be glowy girlfriend. Okay, so using my e.l.f. fan brush and my Laura Mercier highlight in 01, it's the Matte Radiance Baked Powder. I'm going to put even more highlight and look at that highlight. Alright, then I'm going to go in with my City Color B Matte Blush in Papaya and I'm just going to put that on my cheeks. Alright, then I'm going to use this lip liner in Nude. I have no idea who makes it. Um, yeah, it wasn't sharpened and I was too lazy to sharpen it, so this was like cutting my lips. Uh, make sure you sharpen your lip pencils, people. Okay, then I'm going to use this Lancome, um, I don't even know, it's like a matte lip pencil. It's in 210 and I'm just going to put that on my lips okay so I'm gonna go back in with my powder and put that on top of the lipstick because this is gonna help the long wear of the lipstick um, since you're gonna be out all night and as you can see it's gonna be kiss proof so that's a really good trick to do 
So I decided to do two different lip color looks. Um, the first one was nude, and then this one I'm gonna use a red lip. I'm gonna go in with my Jordana Easy Liner for Lips in Sedona Red and line my lips with that. All right, then I'm gonna use my NARS um, uh, Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Cruella. Okay, and that is it for the makeup look, thanks. Hey everyone, so I'm going to film a tutorial on an updo for prom. So I went ahead and I've curled my hair previously today. Uh, you don't have to do this step, but it is going to have like help with the texture and um, you know the way it's going to wave and stuff. So you, it's optional, but you, I suggest you do it. Um, I'm also going to go ahead and I've already sprayed my hair with some dry shampoo, even though it's not dirty. I do this just to help add some more texture, um, give it some lift and body. Um, I use Batiste, which is a pretty affordable dry shampoo. It smells really good and it works really good. Okay, so go ahead and just spray your, your hair down up in the roots with some dry shampoo. Okay, so for the next step, um, you're going to take a teasing comb and you're going to tease pretty much the front um, part of your hair like your bangs and a little bit above your ears and you're just going to tease that as so it doesn't have to be any particular way I mean teasing is teasing it's going to look like a mess anyway so okay so now since we've got that front part teased I'm going to go ahead and kind of comb it smooth, like smooth it out with your comb. Don't brush it completely out, but just smooth it like so. And then I'm going to take this, just the side part, and I'm going to bobby pin it back. So just pin that back like so, um, and just make sure you know you've got a good enough lift in the front, and smooth that back. Then you're gonna go ahead and just spray this with sh shampoo. You're gonna spray this with some hairspray so it stays down. I'm not gonna do this part because I'm going somewhere tomorrow and I don't want my hair to be full of hairspray. But just make sure you spray it. <laughs> got that put up. You're gonna take a rubber band. You can use a little elastic or a hair tie, whatever you've got. And you're going to brush back the rest of your hair and just put it in a ponytail. So once you tie that up, we'll go ahead and start with the back. So I'm gonna to try to turn around and see if you can get to, I don't know, this is gonna be a struggle, so let's see if I So let's see how this works out, but what you're going to do is you're going to take your ponytail and your comb and just tease, like push it back. So take a little piece, tease it back. And just do that with the whole ponytail. Just tease it. So when you think you've got it, I mean, there's no, you know, particular way. Just tease it as much as you can to make it look, you know, like a mess. But it will look better, don't worry. Okay. So make sure you have a lot of bobby pins for this part. So what we're going to do now is just take pieces of that. So take a piece and just pin it back. Like so. Take another piece. And it doesn't have 
to be perfect. Yeah, you'll just take it and like fold it over and pin it with the bobby pin and just place it as best as you can. Like I said, it doesn't need to be perfect because it's going to be like a messy updo. So now, I'm gonna sit down. I pulled out some front pieces. I just pulled out some front pieces and I curled it. The curls have now fallen out, but I did just curl the front pieces and then there you go. It's pretty simple, it's pretty easy, and hopefully I made this simple for you because this is kind of what I wore when I went to my own prom. So it's just a really quick updo and it's actually really all good. So I hope you guys liked it and thanks for watching.